I'm Sherry Boshert reporting for IMNG Medical Media at the annual meeting of the Endocrine Society in Houston. A new test that measures the expression of 167 genes in thyroid nodules could eliminate the need for two-thirds of surgeries done for cytologically indeterminate nodules. Thyroid cancer is the fastest growing cancer in the United States, expected um, over 56,000 cases uh, uh, diagnosed in 2012. And approximately 450 thyroid nodule biopsies are performed each year in the United States. Of these, approximately 15 to 30 percent, or about 100,000, are indeterminate, meaning we can't classify them as benign or malignant. Where we run into some trouble is with the indeterminate biopsy, uh, where we do have cells, very little colloid, there can be some atypical features to those cells, but we really can't make a good diagnosis preoperatively, so many of these patients go to a diagnostic thyroid surgery. The question is, which patient should I send for surgery? We've been thinking about that for many years, that sort of positive test. I'm looking for something to tell me to send a patient to surgery. And I think what we've done in thinking about this study, developing the study, and moving through with the study, is asking the opposite question of which patients with an indeterminate biopsy can we potentially monitor, or as in a negative predictive value. The concept was that we could develop a series of uh, uh, gene expressions, in this case 167, and when that is combined here on the upper right with a multi-dimensional mathematical logarithm, the, the product would ultimately be a gene expression classifier able to distinguish benign from suspicious nodules. This, this was a prospective study of a 19-month enrollment and thereafter following from the time of each individual sample, the median follow-up was 301 days that is, a, that is uh, important so that we caught and we captured all of the post-operative follow-up on these patients. It was a multi-center trial, 49 clinical sites scattered throughout the United States and well representative of both academic and community sites. And it was double blind. The patient and physicians were unaware of the gene expression classifier results and the molecular lab was blind to the surgical pathology diagnosis. And of the 265 uh, nodules, the 265 patients, when the gene expression classifier uh, called a benign result, it was, <clears throat> it was correct in 93 out of 100 cases. There were seven false negative gene expression classifier results. When the classifier called the lesions suspicious, it was correct 78 times, 87 false positives. This leads to a sensitivity for the test of 92%, a specificity of 52%. And for this unique population with a malignancy prevalence of 32%, the negative predictive value is 93%. Reporting for IMNG Medical Media, I'm Sherry Bosher.